Hey everyone, again, this is Anne DeVito of Intentional Marketer University. Welcome to this video, this broadcast, where we're going to be talking about a new wave in online marketing, how you can gain more reach with your message using influencers. So hopefully uh, this is helpful, a helpful topic to you. Um, with Intentional Marketer University, we are using um, or reviewing topics that are little to no money to spend um, to get further reach in your marketing. Um, I know that all of us in startup businesses, startup culture, we're all at first running on a shoestring budget. So myself and my partner Meredith in Intentional Marketer University are consistently looking for cheap ways to market um, our message, your message. So. Let's start with um, talking about how you can show off your products using influencer marketing. So the rise of the influencer has become a big buzz out there in the marketing world. Traditional outbound marketing, like commercials and advertisements and things like that, have started to fall by the wayside. It's left for the big, huge brands that are still running commercials on TV. But in their inbound marketing strategy, they are using these additional strategies, including influencer marketing. So People don't want to be told what to buy anymore. They want to be able to do their own research. They want to be um, educated and entertained in the process using social media. And um, from there, they want to be recommended products by people who have used them before. So, you know, the dawn of Amazon, Amazon reviews, they are, um, you know, looking at reviews online on Amazon for their products. And they're also reaching out to their friends, um, whether it be in person or on social media, to give them recommendations for their products or for the product that they're looking at. So the good news is, is that it's quickly becoming one of the most effective ways to attract customers and clients. And the great news is anyone with a business or a product can leverage influencer marketing in some capacity. So you can do this for free. All you need to do is ask and you don't need a big budget for it. So. Um, today's consumer trusts the recommendations from a third party more than they ever have, and especially more than they trust from the brand itself. Doesn't that make sense? Wouldn't you trust the recommendation of one of your friends for a product that you're looking for, especially if you knew they've tried it before? Or, you know, if you don't know anyone that's tried it before, you are definitely out there looking for reviews. So, um, influencers are basically, um, we'll get into it a little bit more, but the four parts of an influencer are that um, number one, they fit into the context of your business. So if you're selling um, athletic shoes or something like that, then an influencer would, might be like a professional basketball player. Or if you are a smaller business, you might want to reach out to a local hero or a local celebrity in your niche. So if you have a local basketball team, for example, like a AAA league for one of the National leagues, um, you could reach out to those people probably easier than you could reach out to somebody like LeBron James or whatever. So um, it has to be in the context of your business. You want them to have a high reach, so that just means number of followers. And if they don't have a number, um, a high number of followers, they you do want them to, if they have a smaller audience, to have um, a loyal audience, so an audience that listens to what they say that drives them to take action. So the fourth point being to take action from that influencer. So influencer marketing is a type of marketing that uses key leaders in your industry to drive your brand's message to the larger market. So one um, industry that's using influencer marketer, uh, marketing in a really big way, in a really successful way, would be the fashion industry. So um, I read in my research that Lord and Taylor had reached out to a handful of really popular bloggers who had a large social media following on Instagram to um, showcase their dress. So what they did as um, influencers, as, as influencer marketing, is they reached out to those bloggers who had a big social media following. They sent them the dress for free. They asked them to try it on and review it on their blog and on their social media channel, pointing to their blog post probably. And um, that weekend, the dress sold out. So basically, that would be um, the perfect storm of influencer marketing campaign is that you give it out to some big names in your industry and they show it off for you. 
and they sell out your product that weekend. So that would be obviously the best case scenario. So again, we talked about the four components of influencer marketing or an influencer in your industry. And so number one, the context when your influencer is existing in the proper context, your campaign is more meaningful. So every influencer um, for each industry is, can be different. And we're not talking about celebrities. We're talking about people that are on YouTube, they're on Instagram, they have hundreds of thousands of followers, or even tens of thousands of followers, but they have a loyal following that they can make recommendations to people on products. And they have a large following, they can drive their following to take action, and they have a loyal following. So, how do you find these influencers? Now that you've defined who you should reach out to, and maybe you've made a list of accounts, or you need to make a list of accounts for influencers, how do you find them? So a free way that you can find them without any tools is to monitor social media. So obviously the most cost-effective way, it's free, you can get out on Facebook or Twitter, and how you can do that is going out and researching popular hashtags. So you can research a popular hashtag in your industry, see who's tweeting about it, who's posting on Facebook about it, and uh, start to make a list and write down people that could conceivably be interested in trying out your product, reviewing it. Um, are they reachable? Are they somebody that you could possibly get in contact with? Check out their contact pages. Many of them will say, do you want to collaborate or something like that and take it from there. And then also what I have done is on Twitter, you can create a list based on a hashtag. So if you look on Twitter, for one of your popular hashtags, you can create a list and then you can use IFTTT to automatically add users who post using your hashtag to a list. You can make that list public for everyone to see or you can make that private for your own personal research. So um, for influencer marketing, I could use the hashtag influencer marketing and I could create a list using, or I have created a list using IFTTT and then I can start re reaching out to people in my industry to possibly share my insights or share my articles, do a blog collaboration. Um, any of those things are considered influencer marketing. So Google Alerts, you can type in your relevant keywords on Google Alerts and identify articles in your niche and then contact them there from their blog. And then another site called Social Mention, where you can identify people who have already called out your website and see who has shared things for you and who has spread the love and reach out to them that way. There are other tools out there you can use for influencer marketing. And I have noted them out on the latest blog post, goimu.com. But I've listed three of them there, and one is Kara FM. It's for people to tap into the wealth of knowledge out there from influencers. Add your name to the database or contact people from the database to answer your questions. The IFDB, the Internet Fam Famous Database, is a platform for influencer brands, for influencer profiles for brands. Brands and brands representatives use IFDB to search, qualify, and connect influencers and creators to help achieve their marketing objectives. And then finally, tap influence. If you have a larger brand and a larger budget, it might be for you. Centralizes influencer marketing with a single um, software of service software program. So if you have the money to invest in actual software, we'll provide data and insights for you. And then um, another type of influencer marketing that you can do where you would need tools to, um, you don't need them, but you would want some tools to find appropriate blogs is blogger, in, in, uh, blogger outreach. More than half of the influencers run some sort of blog. So what's better is that they keep fairly active promoting their blogs on social media. So you can search for blogs in your industry and keep a list. And then there's a few tools out there that will help you with that one called Inkybee and another one called Blogdash. I've linked to all of these tools on our latest blog article on goimu.com. So go check it out. <clears throat> so let's say you've made a connection with an influencer. Where it makes sense, ask your customers and um, the influencer to upload videos and photos of themselves using your product. Um, promise it to share it out to their followers and share it out to your followers because in turn, 
It'll be a win-win situation. You will be providing attention to both yourself and your influencer. So um, a great example of testimonials used on the website and Instagram would be Kayla uh, It Signs. She's a um, fitness guru from Australia who has a big bikini body ebook. So people are sharing their results and um, posting them on social media for her. You can use giveaways or discounts to incentivize you and share your results or happiness with your product or service. And then, of course, you can offer to swap guest posts. So additional um, information would be compensating your influencers. That's entirely up to you and appropriate to the situation. You can pay them, but be sure that if you pay them, their reviews will be sincere. It would be something you can envision them using and enjoying. So if you pay them, make sure that it makes sense um, and it's in context like we talked about. Or you can uh, use sharing. Sharing is caring. If your influencer writes a post or review about you, be sure to share your content across the networks. Like I just mentioned, they love the attention. You'll get the attention. They will get the attention. And the reach can be exponential in that regard. Um, give them a discount. Give it away. Give them the dress to wear in review on their website. Or offer an affiliation. Make your partner an affiliate and offer a commission based on the sales that they may or may not make on um, your product. So that, in a nutshell, is influencer marketing. Go check out our latest blog post at goinu.com, and um, I will link it below on this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think. Come and give us a visit over there, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.